bonusordninger, som betyder, at de ansatte kan få ekstra i løn, hvis der ikke er nogen arbejdsulykker. Vedsigten mellem 10 og 13 grader i dag i de sydvestlige egne nogle og kun enkelte byer. I resten en del byer, stedvis måske med torden. I'm uh, working on the project of characterization of human milk oligosaccharides uh, using mass spectrometry-based methods. Since I got a very interesting PhD project, I decided to come to Denmark without a second thought. I think in Denmark it's much more flexible for me to choose any courses that might be much more relevant to my project and my background. My PhD project is quite in high level. We have many modern and expensive instruments which assist in our research. And also we have a lot of professional colleagues and professors. The project is mainly collaborated with Danish Technology University, so I have to communicate with them very frequently. The good thing is I can know more knowledge out of my field and know meet more people from other institutes. Sometimes uh, what we, I really can't solve by myself, I come to my supervisor and also the project manager and they are always very helpful and solve the problems immediately for me. So I think in time communication with my supervisor is very useful. And the main challenge is uh, the language because Danish is a very difficult language to learn. Oh, I have like Danish class each week, but it's still a long way to go before I can speak Danish quite fluent. <laughs> I will try to listen to Danish radio or TV, and then I can learn more about the Danish culture and know Danish better. I think I prefer to go back to China after I finish my PhD in Denmark because I want to apply the knowledge I learned in Denmark to the place I work in China. By completing the PhD degree here in Denmark, I think I might have more advantages over the people who did their PhD in China.